I'm going to survive using only this one emerald for seven real life days. And I really don't want to die because I'm playing on my 2,500 day hardcore world. The goal is to trade away up from one emerald to having enough gear to take on the ender dragon. So it's basically like Ryan Treyan's penny series, but in Minecraft. And with that being said, there are a few rules. One, I start with nothing except one emerald. So all my stuff is getting locked away in this chest. Rule number two, I must use emeralds for everything, including food. All right, we've got a one emerald and we need to find a village quick. Otherwise, we are going to die. We literally can't do anything until we find this village. Yes, it's a village. Okay, we need to find like a toolsmith, I think. We need a way of getting more emeralds. Yes, toolsmith. Okay, we can trade our one emerald for an axe. Okay, now if we chop down some wood, we can now craft with these and turn these into sticks. And if we can find a Fletcher, we can sell these sticks for emeralds. No, no Fletcher. Oh, that's a cartographer. Oh my God, there's no Fletcher. What are we actually going to do? So I spent some time chilling with the villagers and staring at this trade table to try and figure out a way to survive. All right, I think I figured out a way, but it's about to go night. So we should probably sleep. All right, so the only solution I can see is to chop down another tree make a crafting table and craft ourselves a boat. And the reason we've got a boat is that it won't use hunger whilst we're moving around. So hopefully we won't starve to death and lose our world. We need to find a village with a Fletcher. Have you seen a village? Ooh, that's a village. Now, please tell me it has a Fletcher. Oh, maybe they don't spawn in deserts. No, we have to keep looking. Uh-oh, it's gone night and now we have another problem. There could be a drowned like anywhere with a trident and we're dead. Oh my God, there's a drowned with a trident over there. All right, so we found this ship and there's nothing in the rules about looting stuff, but there's a spider guarding it. Right, I think we're gonna risk it. Here we go. Oh my God, emeralds. Oh my God, we're losing hearts. We need a village now. Yes, a village. Farmer, no, I just want food. Wait. If we break this, we'll get different trades each time, I think. Yes, give me some bread. Oh my God, our world is saved. All right, so we've got some food, but now we need a reliable way of getting some emeralds. And I don't think we're going to get it at this village. So I think we'll buy this upgraded axe and we'll spend the rest on food. Oh, and before we leave, let's just check in here. Yes, iron. We can't take the chest plate. This is where rule number three comes in. I can only craft with items I've traded for. The only exception is stuff that's impossible to trade for, like wood or stone. Stone. All right, we're not going to stop until we find a Fletcher. Finally, guys, we have reached this village and I'm pretty sure there is a Fletcher. Wait, is that one right there? Yes. All right, sticks for emeralds. That's what we wanted all this time. Let's get to work. Give me them. Wait, you're not the right one. Maybe if we try and reset his trades. Yes. Oh my God. Give me emeralds, please. 16 emeralds. Oh my God. It's starting to get rich. 57. Oh my God. I'm getting scammed. Oh my God. I hate you. Give me more emeralds. Half a stack of emeralds. Let's go. We'll take a fair bit of bread. But now we've got another problem. Our axe is basically broken. Wait, I think I've got an idea to fix it though. We found some iron and we've got wood. So if... I'm right, we can craft a smithing table. And if we give this job to this villager, he should let us buy some tools off him. That is not the one we want. Yes, another ax. Ooh, and we'll get a pickaxe too. Okay, now I'm just gonna grind emeralds off of the Fletcher until we have an astronomical amount of emeralds. And that's what I did for the last couple of hours of day one. All right, it's real life day two, and we're starting the day with 155 emeralds. The goal for today is to get some better gear because right now we are naked and we only have stone tools. But first, I think I saw a wandering trader. Can we use any of this stuff? Melon seeds could be useful. And now you're useless. I think we can get a few more emeralds. All right, let's see what else we can buy from this guy because we've been trading with him and we've unlocked some pretty cool things. This could be useful to defend ourselves. And a couple of arrows, that should do. Now we need to figure out a way of getting better tools. I'm not sure if this guy sells any. Ah, okay, so on the chart it says, if we level this guy up, we can start unlocking some better tools and eventually get diamond tools. I think the best way of doing this is probably just to buy a bunch of stone axes from him. Now pickaxes, I guess. Is he going to refresh his trades? Well, we're waiting for that guy. We'll try and find someone who sells armor. All right. So on the chart, it says that we're looking for a guy who has a blast furnace. Oh no, that's not a blast furnace. Maybe this one. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, perfect. Iron armor. Wait, I wonder if we can get chest and leggings. 
Oh, yes. I was beginning to think it was impossible. Oh, it's going to help so much. Oh, wow. Leveling up these guys is going to take so many emeralds. We definitely need an easier way of getting emeralds. Something more automatic. All right, I think I've got the plan. We're going to use these melon seeds to create an automatic melon farm, which should give us a constant flow of emeralds. The only problem is this village is running out of villagers and there's no one to buy a hoe from. So we're going to have to take these workstations and try and find another village. We Wait, is that one right there already? All right, you can be our Fletcher. Perfect. We need an armorer. Ooh, nice. We can get these. Perfect. Full iron. And we've got a toolsmith as well. Oh, wait. We need this guy to trade us a hoe. Yeah, this guy needs to die. Oh, we just messed up all the traits. Do villagers forgive? Well, that's just great. Apparently, they hold an eternal grudge. Well, looks like we're finding another village. Wait, actually, this guy is the only guy who's got lower trades. And this guy's got a hoe trade. Let's start this melon farm. The second part of this plan is we need villagers to trade melons with us. Wait a sec, I've just looked at the chart and you can't get a melon trade until like level three. But I think I've got a different idea. And it involves this. We can take the sugar cane and craft it into paper. Then we can trade the paper with this guy for emeralds. So let's plant all of this. And whilst that sugarcane's growing and passively getting us emeralds, I'm going to be actively chopping down trees for sticks and trading them with this guy for a bunch of emeralds. Let's do it. All right, it's been about an hour. And as you can see, we've managed to amass a mighty 212 emeralds. And I also discovered that the stick method was way faster than the sugarcane. And because of that, we're going to reinvest the sugarcane into a farm instead of turning it into paper and trading it. Right about now, I really wish we had a shovel trade. <laughs> All right, and it's now lunchtime in real life, so I'm gonna eat whilst the sugar cane grows. Oh yeah. And we should probably reinvest this too. Perfect. Okay, now that we've got all these emeralds, we're gonna try and get some better tools. Could level him up like this. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, that gives me so much more XP. Okay, maybe it's time we start exploring some caves for iron then. We should probably make ourselves a shield. I also think these might come in handy. Yes, iron. Great, it just ends here. I then continued exploring the underwater caves, collecting as much iron as I could possibly find. All right, now we should be able to level this guy up with this. Yes, perfect. Ooh, an iron pickaxe. Let's go. And a diamond hoe. We're going to have to buy that. We might as well just buy a couple of these. Will this do the rest of the levels? All right, what else is it going to get? Who would ever do that deal? Fortune 1 axe is pretty decent. Diamond as well. Okay, perfect. Wait a sec. I think he has one more level. Yeah, he does. Come on, give us something good. Let's go. We spent a bunch of emeralds, but look how much faster this is. Oh, this is so good. All right, next, we need to get working on our armor. All right. We're going to buy a bunch of these. We've got iron for emeralds. So for this, I think we're going to make use of our brand new pickaxe and mine for some iron. All right, we got a bunch of iron and I'm also going to chop those down and see how many emeralds we can get from the librarian. It's time to see if all of this investing has paid off. So we have 51 emeralds. That's a nice 24 emeralds from that. I think the next step of this is making an automatic sugarcane farm. But we'll have to leave that to another day. What is this guy doing? Haha. Uh -huh. All right, let's level this guy up. What are we going to get? There's a trade for a bucket of lava for like 12 or 20 emeralds. If we get that, we can make so many emeralds. So let's hope we get it, please. Oh, I guess we can try and get some diamond armor from the next level, though. Yes. Protection 2, Feather Falling 2, and Fire Protection 1. They're not terrible. To be fair, it's way better than normal iron. And I ended off day 2 by selling their own wheat back to the villagers for some emeralds, and also selling some more sticks. Ah. All right, day three in this real life week of grinding emeralds. And we need to get serious because we only have 90 emeralds. We need thousands. Otherwise, this horse is going to continue laughing at us. <laughs> but to stop this horse from bullying us, we need to get over a couple of hurdles first. And our number one problem is we don't have enough villagers. And I think I've got an ingenious plan to fix that. The first step in our master plan is to get a bunch of boats. Wait a second, I've just realized. Can you trade for boats? I'm just looking at the chart and... And no, 
You can't. Ah, but you can trade a boat for an emerald. So it looks like we're clear to craft a bunch of boats. Perfect. All right, that might have been too many boats. Now we need to capture all the villagers we can find. Come here. Get in the boat. Nice. Come on. Get in. Anyways, after I finally managed to get all the villagers in the boats, I had to transport them to the site of our master plan. But even that process wasn't without its problems. I've somehow managed to get a pig and a cat stuck in villagers with boats. Sorry, Mr. Pig. And I'm not really sorry, Mr. Cat. You did that to yourself. And now let me introduce you to the great villager Q. Yeah, it's just six villagers in boats. And they're stuck here because if they try to cross, the boat gets stuck. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then I'd have to do something annoying like this. And the villager would probably run away like that. No. Go that way. Oh my god. Anyways, next we need to build them a mud mansion. And this is going to be extra hard because we don't have a shovel yet. And we need these extra villagers so we can get a shovel. Wow, this is slow. <laughs> this is taking ages. <laughs> we need a shovel. Wait a second. I didn't trade for these three pork chops. You can have them, Mr. Chicken. Ooh, an egg. Okay, if this gives me a chicken, I'll have 10,000 emeralds by the end of the series. Here we go. Oh my god, yes, let's go. That is a good sign. Anyways, back to this. All right, I think we've got enough to build it. Let's get to work. Gonna make it three high. Don't really know what kind of design I'm going for. And we've run out of dirt. All right, and there we go. Oh no, I tried to go for some kind of cool shape, but it ended looking like this. Anyways, let's move the villagers in. Now we need to breed these guys. And to breed villagers, you need two things. Food and beds. And actually, I think we'll do food first. Because that way it can grow whilst we're getting the beds. So me and these cows are just going to consult the trading chart. Alright, so there is no possible way to buy carrots. You can only sell carrots. Oh yes, I got fortune one on my axe. So let's use that. And we'll just replant all carrots. Gonna eat my bread. And plant more carrots. I guess we'll just plant the rest of the carrots around this house. And this will be forever known as the carrot house. Okay, now that we've got our carrots growing, we need to work on getting beds for these villagers. Because they can't breed unless they have enough beds. Alright, and after looking at the chart, we can actually trade for wool. All we need to do is get a shepherd, which requires us to get a loom block which means we need some string so hopefully there's some spiders down here wait what a skeleton spawner oh the string let's go bang there's our loom and you sir have been promoted to shepherd and i think to get the wool trade we need to level this guy up oh no we're down to 70 emeralds now yes <laughs> looks like we're getting a bunch of red beds and we're starving to death so let's buy some bread oh my god we're down to 38 emeralds wait oh my god you can straight up buy beds from the villagers eight emeralds no okay perfect we have a nice amount of beds all right and whilst i'm waiting for the crops to grow i'm gonna spend some time trying to replenish our emerald count All right, so it's been a little bit and we now have 79 emeralds and a bunch of carrots. Yeah, that's a bunch of carrots. I also found this wandering trader that sells buckets of tropical fish. And this is important as this is one of the only ways we can trade for buckets. So I bought three of them and then I trapped them in these fences. I usually kill wandering traders, but this guy got to live. Anyways, now let's try and get our first baby villager. So if I drop some carrots, yes. Let's go, we got a baby villager. And I think I'll sleep with the villagers. Well, sleep next to the villagers. You know, you know what I mean. All right, now I think I'll continue doing this for the rest of the day and also expanding our carrot farm. As you can see last night, I was very busy grinding carrots. And now we also have a lot of villagers. Oh, these guys are actually going to be pretty useful. So we'll keep all of them in this series. The goal today is to work out the best way of getting emeralds from these guys. So for my first idea, we need some wood. Then I think you craft them like this. Nice. And if we grab a bunch of our carrots, we can hopefully get some farmers that trade carrots. All right, this guy already trades carrots. And so does this guy. Just like that, we're up to 76 emeralds already. All right, now we have this iron and we could trade it for emeralds. But I think a better use of it might be to make a stone cutter. All right, so we need a few of these. Make a furnace. And whilst that's smelting, we're going to harvest the sugar cane. And here's a bunch more emeralds. Then we can craft one of these. And with this, we should be able to get some pretty cool trades. All right, so what it looks like to me, if we level this guy up, we should be able to get 20 stone 
for 10 emeralds. Let's reinvest some of these. Oh, it's just for one emerald. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Hmm, I guess another way of making emeralds would be to set up a wheat farm as well. Wait a minute. No, Billy the Wandering Trader has died. Actually, we only have eight dirt and I don't really want to collect any more with my fist because it's starting to hurt. So let's try and get ourselves a shovel. All right, give me a bunch of them shovels. Can we get a better shovel? Maybe if we level up this guy some more? No. I don't want a diamond hill, I want a diamond shovel. Well, I guess stone is better than nothing. I might actually just leave this guy in here. Okay, so all our crops are grown again. Let's harvest them and see how many more emeralds we can get. I think the next step is to work on some semi-automatic farms so we don't have to keep on running around and planting. All right, I think I've got a plan. And for it, we're going to need a bunch of librarians. You won't mind if I borrow these? You see, with librarians, you can get a second level trade for books, meaning four books will give you one emerald. Plus this first paper trade is pretty good as well. So to take advantage of this deal, we're gonna make an automatic sugarcane farm and also an automatic cow farm for leather so that we can make books. All right, so we'll do the sugarcane farm first and that requires pistons, which requires iron, cobblestone and wood. But lockdown life, you're forgetting about the redstone. Well, actually, no, I wasn't. We have this little guy and he is going to sell us a bunch of redstone. Thanks. Oh no, we also need observers. So we've got everything except quartz. You know what that means? We have to go to the nether. That is not right. right I should probably turn animations on. That looks so cursed. All right, that's better. Fire. Light the portal, please. Yes. Oh my God, we don't have a totem. If I die in here, it's the entire hardcore series over. This is very scary. Oh my god. Yes, this is perfect. Quartz right here. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I don't know if you can hear, but I'm currently surrounded by a bunch of piglins that just jumped me and tried to kill me. This is scary. Oh my god, they're there. Is it safe? No, it's definitely not safe. Can we get out? Yes. Oh my god, we're alive. Oh my god, yes. Observers. Oh, let's make this farm. And I think we'll build the farm right here next to the villagers. Right, it may not have looked like it, but I actually messed up building this thing a lot of times. However, it's nearly finished. We just need to buy some glass from this guy. Turn it into paint and... That's an automatic sugarcane farm. And whilst we're waiting to see if it works, let's build our cow farm. This is going to be pretty simple. And now for the important part, the cows. And would you look at that? We have two right here. All right, come on guys, follow me. Okay, now get in the hole. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Nice. Okay, now we just do that and that. And now we just need to breed these guys up until we get 24 cows in the hole. And at that point, they should crush themselves to death. Whilst we do that, I might make another one of those. It's been a little bit, but we now have our book factory completely operational. So we have a four layer sugarcane farm, which all the sugarcane should drop into here. And we have our cows here, which we click with wheat. Then you can see they suffocate and die and we get some juicy leather. Then we take this and this, craft a bunch of these and sell them for some emeralds. And that is pretty much automatic. All we need to do is do the wheat. So whilst we're collecting up a bunch of sugarcane, I'm gonna see if we can get some different villagers. Ooh, a cartographer could be a good one. Yes, and these guys also buy paper. Another useful one might be a butcher because we're gonna have a lot of raw beef. We need some cobble for a furnace and exactly one small tree of logs. Next, I think we'll try out a fisherman. And their station is just a barrel, so that's pretty easy. I think it's like this. Yes. Ooh, an easy way to get buckets. I am going to buy a few of these. All right, maybe that was too many. Not going to lie, I kind of want to get a fish trade, so I'm going to waste a couple more emeralds. At least the villagers will be warm. Oh, wait, it will kill the villagers. Oh, there we go. Ooh. And now because I have just wasted a lot of emeralds on not very useful things, I'm going to try and make that back by fishing for some salmon. Wait, it is salmon, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, it's day five. Let's do this. Not going to lie to you, fishing wasn't that successful. And I think we've ended up with only having enough salmon for two emeralds. Yeah, we won't be doing that again. The goal of today is to get more geared up because we don't really have the gear to fight the ender dragon. 
So the first thing we're actually going to do is get more farming villagers. This is going to allow us to trade a lot more carrots for emeralds. Yes, a carrot trade straight away. No, they get free. Come back. Yes. <laughs> you listen to me. Also, we've got to remember to murder these guys at any opportunity. All right. And now that we have a dedicated set of carrot farmers, the next step is expansion of the carrot farm. And now that the carrot farm is expanded and we have some automatic farms, it's time to grind emerald. Cue epic montage. What the hell? Okay, so we have this many emeralds. Alexa. What is 64 times 17? 64 times 17 is 1,088. Wow, so with this extra one, we now have 1,089 emeralds. Hold on a sec, I think Alexa wants to say something else. Subscribe now or I'll evolve into a I and kill all your villagers. All right, yeah, you guys should probably subscribe. Anyways, I did notice our stick villager has turned himself into a chicken. And we found this guy who is burning his llamas. And he sells slime balls. So we're actually going to buy a bunch of these because I don't know where else we're going to get them. Llama abuse aside, now that we're rich, it is time to live the lavish lifestyle. I'm tired of eating this boring, tasteless bread. And now that we're rich, we can afford cookies. Ooh, or golden carrots. Yeah, actually, we'll have a bunch of those. Oh, they taste so much better. We also don't really have a house. We're kind of just sleeping in that villager hut. So... My name is Lockdown Life, and this is my crib. It's fully decked out with expensive windows, stripped logs, and of course, all the chest space you could imagine. It also has a really cool roof and plenty of lighting. And that's pretty much it, really. All right, so it is a very nice house. It just needs a bit more decorating inside, which luckily for us, we can afford. All right, so I think one of these guys sells paintings. Yes. Oh, this is such a good deal. Three paintings for only two emeralds. I also think we can get some of these lanterns because they look a lot more expensive than torches. Of course, we're going to need some orange beds because that is our channel color. And just because we can, we'll get some pink carpet. We'll also get some bookshelves and we'll finish off the decorations with a very expensive bell. All right, we've spent a lot of money, but let's see how this is going to look. And bang, here we go. Oh my God, it looks so much better. And also we've got our very own chandelier complete with a bell. Why is there so many iron golems down here? Wait a second. I think these guys have given me an idea. We need to get blast furnaces so that we can get armorers. So if we hit this guy, three iron. And you guys are next. All right, perfect. This is enough to make six blast furnace. Perfect. All right, and now we should be able to get six new armorer villagers. Wow, these guys are going to need a lot of leveling up. Oh my god, yes. A full set of diamond. Eh, it's all right. We'll take it, though. It's way better than this. We might be able to get some better armor off these other ones, though. Ooh, feather falling four and breaking three. Let's go. So I spent the rest of day five trading emeralds and hoping to get better pieces of armor. Okay, it's day six, the second last day of this challenge. Our armor is looking pretty decent now, but... Our weapons are lacking. So today we're focusing on Fletchers and Weaponsmiths. And for a Fletching table, we need to get 10 of this. And yes, we can trade some of this for 10 flint. Nice. Now our next problem is all of these guys are very productive and they have jobs. Which means we need to spend some more money on some beds. And now it's time to breed the villagers. Oh, yeah. And whilst they're growing up, I'm going to collect as many sticks as possible. All right, it looks like most of our villagers are grown up now. And we did have to buy a new axe, so we're down even more emeralds. A good way to fix that is going to be to level up our fletchers. We only want stick trades. Uh, we should probably craft sticks first. And we can just refresh these guys until we get the sticks. All right, that's all the wood traded, and we got some extra emeralds from that. Now I think we can use some of these emeralds to level up these guys. Ooh, there's our first enchanted bow. I'm breaking two. That's decent. Power two. That's pretty good. All right. So if we buy this one, this one twice, we should be able to combine these into a pretty good bow. The only problem is we need iron for an anvil. 
And there we go. We have a power three unbreaking three bow. And we're running quite low on emeralds. Now it's time to try and get ourselves an enchanted diamond sword. All right, so we need weaponsmiths. Wow, these guys are hard to level up. I am down to 64 emeralds. I feel like there's got to be a better way of getting a good weapon. And that's when it hit me. Instead of leveling up the weaponsmith, we could just try and get a sharpness book trade from a librarian and then use our anvil to apply it to a diamond axe. Yes, finally, sharpness fight. And we are down to seven emeralds. So we're going to need a few more emeralds. All right, now we can buy a fresh axe and add ourselves sharpness five. All right, let's test it out. Wait a second. This is the horse that was bullying me. Well, how'd you like me now? Ooh, we cannot have that. Anyways, now we have pretty good armor and a very good weapon. But we're playing on my 2000 plus day hardcore world, so we're not going to take any chances. And that means we're going to have to get ourselves a totem before we face the dragon. So let's spend our nine emeralds on some arrows and let's go start a raid. All right, here we go. All right, the moment we walk into the village, the raid starts. Here we go. Oh, those axe guys would hurt us so much. Okay, we're going to try and use our bow as much as possible and keep them away from us. No, villager, get inside. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Did I just... Did I actually just do that? Right, I guess that was counted as a separate village to this. All right, here we go. Raid attempt number two. Let's try not to kill our own villager this time. These guys are freaking out. Haha. <laughs> Ow, they're at my house. Oh, no. Jump shot. Yes, we got him. Yes, I am got him. Wait, how did you get in my house? No, don't hit them into here. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Die, Iron Golem. No, don't summon the Vexes. Yes, we've got two Ravagers on us. And an Evoker. No. Yes, you can't swim down here, can you? <laughs> Wait, can I hit them? from down here. Ow. No, bad idea. Bad idea. Stop destroying my carrots. Let's go. We completed the raid. All right. So from that raid, we've managed to get five totems now, which is going to be very important for the Ender Dragon. But now we've got discounts on all our trades. We're going to take advantage of it by grinding some emeralds for the rest of the day. All right. It's the final day. Day seven. And we now have 1,423 emeralds. I also may have accidentally bred some more villagers just for fun. Anyways, enough messing around with the villagers. We need to prepare for the dragon. And to do that, we need to mess around with the villagers again because we need to get this guy to trade us some ender pills. Yes, we got an ender pill trade. The next part of this preparation is going to be a bit harder. We need to get blaze powder. Let's head to the nether because there's no possible way of trading for blaze rods. All right, I think we've got enough. All right, there's that. But now we need a transport method to actually get to the end portal. These guys would be good. You can actually trade for a saddle, but first we need a leather worker. Perfect. All right, now we're going to have to spend loads of emeralds just leveling this guy up. And yes, we have ourselves a saddle. Okay, this guy's all right. But before we go and risk our hardcore world attacking the ender dragon, I feel like we owe it to our villagers to make this place look a little bit nicer. And whilst I was upgrading their home, I also traded with them as much as possible to get our emerald count up. This took a while to build, but I think it was worth it. Yeah, I think the villagers are a lot happier now. Also, you may have noticed this giant emerald on the side of the building, and I spent 864 emeralds on this. And we still have this many emeralds, which is enough to build an entire emerald beacon if we wanted to. So we are now officially rich. And to think all this wealth came from one emerald. And with it, we transformed the standard village into the trading capital of my Minecraft world, where the population speaks in only one language, emeralds. But there's still one last thing to do. Also, I should mention that I just spent some time collecting these end crystals because we're going to need to respawn the dragon as this is my 2000 day hardcore world. Let's grab everything we need. Come on, horse down life. Let's go kill a dragon. Let's go. What the? Oh. Yes, we have enough. All right, here we go. Just ignore all my stuff. Let's do this. It's kind of fitting that there's an emerald beacon here. Um, here we go. All right, we need to be really careful of the dragon. We've only got diamond armor. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow, that stuff hurts. Why are the pillars like this? Thread the needle. Yes. All right, that's the last one. Let's go. It's going down. Oh. Oh my god. He hurts. No, he destroyed the beacon. 
Oh my god! Wow. Nice! Let's finish him off with an emerald! Let's go! And there we go, we had survived from one emerald and defeated the ender dragon. And now I can finally collect my stuff.